I spent a lot of time when I was younger walking up rivers, always following the water to try and see where it was coming from, see where it was going. The funny thing about rivers is they have this reflective surface, which I was always curious, you know, that drew me in. What's what's uh, what's beneath that what happens down below that reflection as soon as you break through that reflective surface things become very quiet very sparkly and very weightless It's a very cool feeling once you, once you do go um, into that world and allow yourself to relax. The more you relax, the more the environment around you seems to accept you. Quite quickly, I think all the little fish uh, around you can sense can sense that and when they feel comfortable they'll start approaching you they'll start uh, growing curious about this new strange creature that's entered their world You know, you're just a few centimeters below the surface, but you feel like you're in a completely different world. The little fish, they're not particularly big. They're not particularly bright and colorful. They are quite unassuming. Once you spend some time in their environment, you start to notice some of the subtleties in their behaviors, in their curiosity. And I think that makes me feel more curious about what is happening in their world. Who are these little spirits, you know, swimming through the water? And what, what is life like for them? I'm interested in seeing the world from the perspective of these fish, from seeing the rivers not as a resource, but as a home. We're in a place now where I think this, the thing that we need the most is to start looking after these ecosystems. That comes through more caring, through more compassion. These river ecosystems are uh, nature's gift to us. My name is Dr. Jeremy Shelton and I am a freshwater biologist.